so hi dear capricorn a very very good afternoon to you guys this is anjali taro and this is a general reading for all the capricorn sun moon venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you at the first place the second thing the rules can be reversed any time third thing this is a reading from 11 till the 21st of august so let's start your partner's current feelings for you right now are let's see your partner's current feelings for you right now are capricorn five of wands okay Six of Wands. Somebody is trying to show you that they are really happy without you. Okay. But the truth is that they are very much conflicted. There is a hell lot of drama going on. There is a hell lot of struggle and power. Struggle, power, like some fights going on between you guys. Okay. And this person is mentally very, very conflicted. Internally very, very conflicted. Okay. They are not able to do anything about it. But just conflicted. Okay. There is lots of drama going on. If uh, you guys are not fighting verbally, both of you are feeling the drama from inside. Conflicted from inside. Let me clarify the five of wands now. Six of pentacles, the sun and the nine of wands. Yeah. Queen of swords. I feel this person is not showing you that what they feel is uh, bringing back equal give and take of energy in this connection, bringing back the happiness. They feel like you are their ultimate happiness. And they feel like you are someone who is kind of a player might be. Uh, you are someone who is in and out of your life, in and out of your their life or uh, on and off in their life you are someone who is very passionate uh, very beautiful very gorgeous very sexy okay so they are kind of uh, very attracted to you just just give me a second they are kind of very attracted to you and they are they feel very very happy with you this is what they are feeling okay no matter how much drama is going on this person still feels that you are their happiness and they are still very much attracted to you still very much passionate about you Okay, oh, it could be very much possible this that this person is the player and this person is the one who is in and out of your life. But yeah, they feel like this connection, although it's not stable connection, but things are very good. Like internally, they feel very good about you, about the situation. Let's see what you feel for this person. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what you feel for this person. Oh my God, what is wrong with the cards today? Just give me a second. What do you feel for them? Queen of Swords. Okay. Eight of Wands. You want some... You feel like talking to this person and getting the clarity. You know, getting the clear picture of what the fuck is happening in this connection. But I don't know what if you're getting it or not, but you feel like doing it. Okay. Because there is a hell lot of unclear things or unsaid or unresolved issues between you guys. You're very... You're feeling very cold and off and detached from them. this person because you want certain clarities and you're not getting it. And that's why you are behaving like this. Let me clarify the Queen of Swords. Ace of Swords, Six of Cups, Samper. See, I told you. Ace of Pentacles. You feel like having a brand new beginning in this connection and having a reconciliation in this connection. But you have decided that you are going to do it only when things will be very much clear to you. Like crystal clear to you. You feel like clearing all the things with this person and whatever happened, let it be in the past. You feel like having a reconciliation with this person and you have, de you have decided that you are going to do it. You feel like having reconciliation and you feel like uh, you will do it. I don't know if you are doing it not, uh, doing it or not, but you, you feel like you, you, will, you will do it. And I feel like you just feel like having a clarity, truth out of the situation. This is what you feel. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio and Aries. Let's see what you want from this connection, Capricorn. Magician, you are manifesting happiness. You are manifesting happiness in this connection. You are manifesting that uh, the, the other person should open up to you. You should open up to them so that things can be clear and things can be on a happy note right now. Let me clarify the Magician. Could be dealing with the Cancer here. Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Lover. See, yeah, Two of Pentacles. There is juggling and energy. So you want this person to open up to you. You want this person to text you, call you, and start this connection all over again from a friendship level. And you want this person to decide something, you know, to get attracted to you again, to get this friendship back with you again, and to bring back everything that was there, but from a friendship level. Just starting from a scratch level, you want them to open up and tell you exactly how they feel about the relationship, about the connection. So all you are manifesting right now is uh, that this person should open up to you and talk to you very honestly regarding the situation between you guys and take a particular decision, take a certain decision. This is what this person wants from you, you know. They want this attraction back, the connection back. 
but they want you to decide whether you want it back or not and they want you to be clear and honest about things and they, if not they want you to be just a friend okay okay cool they just want to keep you there in their life anyhow they don't want you to just go out of their life and just start a new life or something like this yeah so you could be dealing with the gemini taurus virgo capricorn let's see what this person wants from you honey capricorn yeah page of pentacles king of cups this person wants mature emotional maturity in this connection they want you to open up okay things are up in the air right now they want you to open up see you want page of pentacles from they want page of pentacles from them from you you want page of pentacles from them so both of you are wanting this connection from a friendship level right now you both of you are waiting for a communication uh, that will create something meaningful in this connection because right now things are very un unclear and up in the air kind of let me clarify the page of pentacles king of cups four of swords handman yeah see devil okay there are certain toxic traits in this person or in this connection that you want to clear okay you want this person to be very very emotionally mature to open up with you they uh, see the thing is that uh, might be this person is very mature by age but emotional maturity is required here because you feel like emotionally this person is not very mature you want them to heal the situation with you and you want them to take uh, you know uh you want them to uh, understand your point of view as well just try to things from your point view point of view as well as a friend as a friend and be emotionally mature in this connection you know you want them to open up basically from a maturity level and start from a friendship level this is what you want okay got it so gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces scorpio taurus virgo capricorn let's see what's coming towards you till the 21st of august yes let's see Let's see what's coming towards you till the twenty first of August. God. The moon, okay, and seven of pentacles, okay. I feel you guys will be waiting and waiting and waiting. Some good news will come, but not as much as you expect. expecting okay so i feel both of you are going to feel like this connection is sinking things are not working out this is a deep soul connection soul level connection both of you can feel it but things are not working i tried right now working out right now okay so till 21st of august i don't see much happening exactly um, that you are anticipating it's not going to happen cool let's clarify the moon card during the full moon might be things are going to change for you guys okay The judgment, the eight of pentacles, and the ace of wands, and the eight of wands. There will be there will be an opportunity that where you guys are going to have conversation. Okay, I do see both of you are going to feel like this connection is sinking, or this connection is going somewhere else, or it's uh, going into some kind of depression or some kind of negative thing. So I feel both of you are going to forgive and forget each other, and both of you are going to work on this connection, and there will be a brand new beginning in this connection. But again. I don't see this big brand new beginning as a brand new beginning like very happily it's kind of a yeah there will be beginning but there will be certain kind of issues deep down that you guys are going to feel but I don't think that you any one of you is addressing the issues the issues will be there but still you guys will be starting the new chapter again so I feel this will be a disaster but it's your choice anyway so It is the Sagittarius and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces. Let's see what is the guidance for you, Capricorn. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, just let it flow. If it's flowing naturally, yeah. See, the thing is, just let it go. Okay, whatever is happening, just let this happen because this is happening for some reason. Okay, so the universe wants me to tell you, just go with the flow, with the divine cycle, and everything is going to be fine. Okay. So just go ahead and don't carry the baggages of the past with you in the present. The past is gone. Look ahead for the future and just go with the flow. Don't push things or yourself so hard that uh, things seem very complicated for you. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.